Hey traders, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be going over Ninja Trader hotkeys, what is offered out of the box for trading with hotkeys. We'll cover what you can and can't do with hotkeys in Ninja Trader, and we'll discuss what Quick Trade Ninja can do to give you more flexibility with your Ninja Trader hotkeys. So let's check it out. Okay, before we're able to enable hotkeys for trading, there's one setting that we need to make sure is enabled. Go to options, and under the category of trading, there is the use order entry hotkeys that needs to be enabled. When you click that, it will give you a warning, making sure that you're aware that your hotkeys can now submit orders. Go ahead and click yes. And now I'll go back to tools and select the hotkeys option. This brings up our hotkeys configuration window. There are multiple things that can be configured with hotkeys in Ninja Trader. What we will cover today are the order entry hotkeys, which allow you to assign hotkey combinations for order entry and management. So first off, what are the options available to us? Well, this is very similar to chart trader in that it gives us buy and sell options and it gives us the same options we have buy ask or bid sell ask or bid and we have market options we can also assign hotkeys to cancel or close our last order and decrease the last order price that only applies to entry orders the break-even ATM strategy and break-even position are very similar in that they will move your stop-loss order to the break-even price the difference will be this one will only apply apply to ATM strategy orders, break even position will apply to all stop loss orders on your chart. Modify last order to fill moves your last submitted pending order to 15 ticks past the last traded price in order to get the order filled. Reverse is similar to the reverse button on chart trader that will take a long or short position and basically submit two market orders, one to close the current position and one to open the position in the opposite direction. The OCO order and simulated order are the hotkeys that you can use to toggle those features on and off. Now one thing you can do on hotkeys that you're not able to do with chart trader is you can add custom orders which will come down here and click add and this gives you a few more options so you can choose a buy or a sell and you can do it the type of order and you can do an offset from the bid or the ask price. So whereas on chart trader you're only able to buy or sell the bid or ask with hotkeys you can set an offset from the bid or ask to create a order at that level. However, your only reference price is the bid or the ask. Now let's go over how to set a hotkey. When you hover over the field for the hotkey, it will say click to record hotkey. When you click in the field, it will begin recording and watch for the keys you are pressing down. For example, I will hold down control and the number pad two and it records that as control number pad two now being assigned to buy a bid. So it's pretty easy to assign a hotkey just by recording your keystrokes and you can assign any of the hotkeys that will be useful to your trading strategy. Let's see how this actually works. Now that I have buy bid assigned to control numpad two, I'm gonna select my chart and I press control number pad two. Order submitted. And you can see I have an order submitted at 582175, which is the bid price. As with Chart Trader, hotkeys are a powerful addition to your trading strategy. However, you still are limited to using the bid and ask as your reference price and having an offset from there, which in many cases might not be very applicable to your trading strategy. This is another area where QTN can fill these gaps. Everything that can be created as a QTN quick actions can all be created as either hotkeys or buttons or both. So for example, I have some custom chart trader buttons defined, which we've gone over the function in a separate video. But the idea that I want to show here is that these can be enabled as buttons, which they are right now, but they can also be enabled as hotkeys. When I enable the hotkey, I now have the option for the hotkey setup to assign two keys that will now trigger this quick action. So they can be triggered by a button, by a hotkey, or both. And these are functions that don't exist as options within the standard Ninja Trader hotkeys. So really open up new possibilities for trading with hotkeys along with your chart trader buttons. We won't go over all of the possibilities in today's video. In future videos we'll be going over the specifics of quick actions and what you can actually accomplish with those. But just remember anytime you use a quick action with QTN that quick action can be assigned to a button or a hotkey or both which opens up a world of possibilities for accessing powerful features with a single click or hotkey. Thanks again for watching our video. Please go to our website which is linked in the description to download Download a free trial of Quick Trade Ninja and give this a try. Please subscribe to continue to receive future videos. I'll catch you in the next video.